Come on. Hi, so my name's Kit. I'm an aspiring adventure creator. That last sequence was from a recent film I just released with M. Murray called Impulse. Feel free to check it out, it's in the link below. So I've been climbing for about a year now and since starting I've had the opportunity to climb in some phenomenal areas with some really great people. But now I'm looking to push myself and my climbing and I've started this channel so you guys can all follow along. I wanna create really transparent content that just shows the process of progressing as a climber, adventurer and a filmmaker. So I've set myself a few goals but the major one being to become an all-round 512 climber. There really is no time frame on this, but it's just an objective I'm pushing towards. And by all round, I mean over all facets of climbing, be it sport, trad, or bouldering. But why 512? Well, in the words of Eric Horst, 512 is a magical grade. The grade that separates intermediate climbers from the sports elite. To me, 512 exists as a foundational grade for climbing harder and bolder, a foothold in progressing as a climber. In terms of the Australian Ubank system, 512 encompasses a large portion of difficulty, from approximately 25 to 28, highlighting that ticking the entire grade is no simple feat. So the goal is set, to become a 512 climber, working through the grades from A to D, over all disciplines. But first I need to find one thing out. Where do I stand as a climber? So to measure this, I've come up with a simple climbing specific assessment. This test is super basic, but the idea is to standardise the entire process, so I can come back in 10 weeks and compare. Before testing, I recorded various body measurements, including weight, height, span, and several biometrics. The first two tests will measure grip strength in two categories, crimp and pinch. To measure my crimp strength, I'll be performing a 10 second hang on a 20mm edge, using a half crimp. I'll incrementally add weight until termination. So I've just done a 29 kilo hang and that's feeling kind of borderline where I'm going to be at. I'm not going to push it too much because I just can't risk getting a finger injury, but that feels like where my form starts degrading. So that feels like the limit for me at the moment, which is cool. So now on to the next test. Now that I've completed the max crimp test, I now measure my pinch strength. To do this, I'll use a pinch ball, attempting to do a 10 second pinch whilst incrementally increasing pull weight. I'm doing this in a standing configuration so that I can engage the forearm extensor and see weaknesses on either side. Overall, I was able to max pinch 26.5 kilos on the right side and 24 kilos on the left side, showing that there is a slight imbalance there. For the max grip strength data, I have chosen to convert it into a percentage of my body weight so I can compare it later on. Now into the other stuff. So with the grip strength testing completed, the next assessment is a max move test. With help from my good friend Chad, the goal is to complete as many randomised moves as possible until exhaustion. This test allows you to simply score your endurance. I'll complete it three times and take a total average from those attempts.
The results were interesting, and I managed to complete 55, 37, and 46 moves with a five minute rest in between, for a total average of 46 moves. Though my endurance was poor, the test also highlighted my lack of recovery. Now to measure power and strength endurance of the upper body using simple pull-ups. There are two ways you can measure this. The first is a max pull test, where you record the highest weight you can add and complete a singular pull-up. The second is a pull-up endurance metric, in which you measure how many consecutive pull-ups you can complete. Due to a recent bout of climber's elbow, I've chosen to complete the endurance metric three times and calculate the total average. Coming into the test, I was optimistic I would pull at least 20 on my first set, but quickly found that that was not the case. Managing a max of 18 and a total average of approximately 15 reps. For the final test, I have chosen to attempt to see how long I can hold a static front lever for. Bear in mind, I'm not expecting this to be impressive at all, but it's designed to isolate and measure core strength and shoulder stability. The results were pretty bad, and on all three attempts, I was unable to hold for even a second. In hindsight, it may have been better to attempt to see how many front lever reps I could complete instead, but this test highlighted that I seriously need to work on my core. So that's where I stand as a climber, at least in a physical sense, and I hope this test allows others to measure where they stand. But to chat actual climbing grades, the hardest I've ever climbed is 25 or 512A. The hardest I've ever sport on sided is 23. The hardest I've ever trad on sided is 19, and I've never bowled it outdoors, but I can climb probably V4 to 5 on the moonboard, if that's something to go by. So I'm super excited to start this journey. I hope it pushes um, myself as a filmmaker and of course as a climber, and that I create relatable and useful content to share with you guys. I'll catch you next time.